Welcome one and welcome all to the People's Channel, Orchids for Dummies. I am Fal Pal Darrell. Welcome to my indoor growth space. And in today's video, I will be updating you, darling, on all of my potted, miniature, Phalaenopsis orchids. Stay tuned. <laughs> So welcome on back, Fell Pals. This is my beautiful mini Phalaenopsis orchid collection. What I want to do is share with you my growing experience for the year, as this is my end of year update. Starting with this equestrious orchid right here. It bloomed for me earlier this year. I do believe this is a summer bloomer. Okay, it is my first Equestrious Phalaenopsis, which is a species. Okay, beautiful foliage and such beautiful, beautiful fragrant blooms when it does bloom. Inside of my beautiful Fal Pal pot, it is loving it. It's loving it. Okay, so I really can't wait to show you that baby once it blooms for you. This is my beautiful Phalaenopsis orchid that was given to me by Fal Pal. Danny at Danny's Orchid Journey. I've had it now for over a year and it was a rescue Phalaenopsis Orchid. As you can see, it is quite the spoiled Phalaenopsis Orchid with 11 leaves with no blooms. It has not rebloomed for me yet. Not yet. And as you can see, roots everywhere roots galore so it's a happy camper it's a happy camper i just need for her to bloom for me come on baby bloom for me bloom for me come on you can do it so this beautiful phalaenopsis orchid right here is just a grocery store phalaenopsis that i've had over a year is well established in my care this is its first rebloom. I'm very excited about it because it has very beautiful, beautiful blooms. Very beautiful blooms. As you can see, the leaf was damaged. So naturally, the orchid is cutting it off it on its own. So you know, here on Orchids for Dummies, I don't believe in slicing and dicing in herbs and spices. I don't believe in it. So I believe it will be sometime next year when this baby actually blooms. So you must be on the lookout. Make sure to ring that bell so you will be notified when I post a new video. This beautiful baby right here I received over a year ago from my local Alabama Orchid Society. This is its first rebloom. It is a no ID phalaenopsis. I'm very excited as you can see that the way the buds form on the spike, so similar to a Sogo phalaenopsis orchid. So I'm really excited to see what exactly this orchid is going to produce. Super excited about it well established in its pot. It's a happy camper. It's a happy camper. And if you stay tuned, I will show you my bone back fell pals. So these beautiful Phalaenopsis orchids right here is going to be a no name ID, but does not mean that it is not beloved that it, I am not sentimental about it. Now, this is not a variegation in the leaves. This is actually cold damage. This is cold damage. This is cold damage as well, which is a little bit of sunburn. This orchid is just fine. This was given to me by Fel Pal Blanca, Orchid Diva. And um, she said to call it Little Diva. And that is what its name is. Okay, I see new root production. 
about to emerge from the base of the flower down there right there there's a flower spike coming i mean i'm sorry i wish that's um a new root that is about to be developed i have it growing under the purple or red light which is a vegetative type of lighting i took the top layer of moss off as it became sour i will replace it soon Still no rebloom from that at all, and I have had it over a year. This one as well, I've had since the beginning of this year. It was sent to me from a orchid grower in Florida. It was a very um, sick orchid, and I've been just trying my best to nurse it back to health. Okay, the different ailments of the Phalaenopsis orchid leaves, we will get there. But it's been a slow road with this orchid, but it is making progress. It's making progress with new root development and new leaf development. It's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time. Being very patient with this Phalaenopsis orchid. This one right here actually has a name. It was sent to me by Hauserman. Housing orchids. Well, I purchased it. It wasn't sent to me. And it is called the Fell April Stars Coming. Beautiful big lip phalaenopsis orchid. Now, what really attracted to me, other than the big lip, is that it has that purple tinge to it that I love. As you can see, it's a mini phalaenopsis, but very long leaves. As you can see, it wasn't much purple until my care. I don't know what I'm feeding them, but once they become in my care, the whole underside of the leaf will um, turn purple. So that's also an indication to let you know how many leaves have been grown in my care. It's still in its original setup as Hauserman orchids are very healthy scent orchids. Fowl Pals, I hope that you enjoyed this video, that you enjoyed my beautiful orchid mini phalaenopsis collection. Make sure to ring the bell so you will be notified when I post a new video. Have a happy grow. Until next time.